The season 3 trailer dropped in its entirety last night, revealing a Marvel collaboration in the Battle Pass, new skins, a future POI, and even some map changes happening as we speak, so without further ado, here's everything coming in Fortnite Season 3. In the first few seconds of the cinematic, you can spot a trio of characters on motorcycles. Take a closer look and you'll realize that one of these isn't yet an outfit. The red character is actually this survey skin and outfit which is now confirmed to be arriving next season, likely in the Battle Pass, alongside Fortnite's next big feature. That's Monster Trucks, because Monster Trucks will also be arriving next season season. You can spot a few of these flying out the back of a vehicle in the end of the trailer showcasing a variety of different cars that we'll see next season. In the cinematics final reveal, Epic also revealed something major. In the mobile version, you can see a copyright for Max, the creators of Fallout, a collab that we'll talk about later, but also a Marvel copyright, confirming that a Marvel skin is going to be hidden in this trailer or just arriving next season. The trailer ends with this menacing shot of a character grabbing Chaos Agent by the neck, which is what some people assume to be Sandman or possibly the character we can see in the key art from the roadmap. Either way, a Marvel collab's coming, it's just a matter of waiting a few days. As the trailer wraps up though, in the distance you'll notice this blinking red light which we'll talk a bit more about later. It turns out that this is the shark bait boat and correlates with the light we've seen in game which by the time you're watching, you'll soon be able to spot the entire boat off across the water, slowly creeping up to the island. The mouth of the shark boat matches up with the opening we see in the trailer, so expect this as a new POI for some sort of faction next season, Fortnite Wrecked. Fortnite's officially revealed the name of next season, and it gives us a hint towards what we can expect. Season 3 will be called Fortnite Wrecked, which completely matches the carrot we've seen in the leaked roadmap. The official logo has also been revealed, and it's pretty cool with an apocalyptic vibe to it. And we also have a first look at the color theme of the season thanks to a leak by PlayStation, so it looks like it'll be super chaotic, and the teasers we've been getting in-game are just further confirmation. The first big teaser for season 3 is now dropped and it reveals the huge collab for next season as well as many hidden easter eggs. The collab featured in the battle pass will be Fallout which just recently had a series released. Fans will know that the emojis used in the post description is also a direct reference to Fallout's signature mascot who could be an outfit. There will be a massive POI themed around it and even a power armor item it seems which could work similar to the mechs from season X, hopefully not as overpowered. If you look carefully you can also spot the desert biome around the new location as well as palm trees so this means the POI will be somewhere around the south end of the map meaning the new bomb will likely be added right where the sandstorm's headed. Looking closer though, you may also spot a small logo on the new POI, which we can also find on this survey skin, which could be in the battle pass. Another teaser was sent to creators in physical form, which is a small toy car, and it teases a very special new type of vehicle that'll be added to Fortnite next season, matching previous leaks about armored cars. The car's plate has Eat Nitro written on it, which is exactly what the vice president of Epic Games was secretly teasing. His word describing season 3 was Nitro, implying armored cars with Nitro boost will play a huge part in game play very soon. Its word also has a double meaning because some people spotted one of the survey skins has this word written on it, so maybe we'll be seeing this mutant carrot guy in the battle pass too, who knows. That's not the only new vehicle we're getting as Fortnite will be going all out next season in terms of what they're describing as vehicular mayhem. A collab with Monster Jam will be taking place with a brand new monster truck vehicle. Additionally, in Monster Jam's arena, there's tons of Fortnite references including a battle bus and a bright bomber cosplayer emoting everywhere. Players also notice the truck shows the same logo that was seen on the sandstorm spectrogram so there's definitely a connection there a very secretive teaser though was one that was hidden inside of the giant sandstorm spawning in just a few days ago revealing messages when deciphered after the sandstorm event happened players noticed a red light flashing in the center of it and so everyone immediately began working on ways to decipher this at first we thought the code meant no hope a play on the original myth of hope remaining after pandora's box opens but that's not it at all the actual message says get wrecked which was actually meant to tease the season's name before it was revealed so keep an eye on that red flash because as the sandstorm comes closer to the map we could see even more secret messages for season 3. That wasn't the only teaser however as multiple Fortnite accounts have been giving us small teasers on what next season will be like. Translations of some of the words that other Fortnite accounts have given us include no breaks, wildness, get wrecked, meaning a very wild season is ahead of us and we can only hope it won't be similar to last year's wild season as many people are hoping it'll break the streak of bad season 3s in Fortnite. Something else that is very similar though is the sandstorm event matching something we've seen in the past. Fans could help but notice that when the sandstorm appeared on the map's horizon, it looked extremely familiar. As we go, the same thing happened in chapter 1 when we all watched the snowstorm with the iceberg slowly make its way to the island, so honestly, it's nice to see Fortnite can generate the same amount of hype now as it did back then, as it's cool to see small nods to past events like this. But there's also another secret reference to a past event that no one noticed in the live event. While everyone was watching the lightning beam from Pandora's box jump around the map, the box itself slowly sank into the river Styx. The animation used for it is very familiar because because that's what was used back when Kevin the Cube first sunk into Loot Lake, so that's definitely another cool easter egg to the past. Speaking of watching the lightning jump across
across the map, you might have been able to watch some cool map changes happening live. Just as was leaked, the beam followed a specific path towards the ocean, leaving destruction behind. A lot of these craters have appeared on the map, and yeah, Epic really loves putting craters all over the place. Those will soon be used for clues, so we need to keep an eye on these to uncover all the event's secrets. If you watch the event from Mount Olympus, what you might have noticed is a small change to the POI. After charging multiple times and overloading the box, the huge statue at the top of the mountain has begun to crack. It's now on the brink of destruction, so it's very possible that it won't make it in Season 3. The POI will either be removed, or maybe the statue itself will collapse, destroying it in the process and leaving Olympus wrecked, living up to next season's name. Among the many secrets of the event, there was a small detail that may give us a hint of an already leaked collab. At the end of the event's music, you could hear a guitar solo that many speculated was related to Metallica, which we know will be one of the main collabs in Battle Royale Season 3 as well as Fortnite Festival. However, it turned out to be music produced by Epic Games music composer, so while it's not Metallica, it's still our first look at a possible Season 3 music pack, and it does sound a lot like their music. Sweet sounds heard during the event, there's a theory that the sandstorm's actually a creature. When first appearing, you can almost hear it growling like a reptile. Some even think this might be related to a Godzilla collab. Fall Guys just got their own collab with Godzilla, so it wouldn't be very surprising if we ended up getting some Godzilla-themed cosmetics in Fortnite as well. If you're looking for some free cosmetics though, now's the perfect time because Epic's giving a back bling and wrap completely for free as a part of their mega sale. All you have to do is navigate to the Fortnite add-ons page in your Epic Game Store between May 16th and June 13th, and you'll see these items granted to your account. What could also be coming soon to the Epic Game Store is God of War Ragnarok as a part of a special promo. Epic's been teasing it recently, and people think this is the reason the Kratos bundle hasn't yet returned to the item shop, even after the bundle was updated many times. In any case, it seems that the cloud's return is definitely not scrapped, and we might be getting soon to accompany the game's release to the Epic Games Store. There's a collab that's unfortunately scrapped though, as Epic actually baited us. With the last game update, there was a shop tab added for X-Men, and we all thought it was a hint towards a collab between Fortnite and the popular X-Men 97 series. The fact Rocket League also got a collab was a big indicator it would arrive soon. But it turned out that this was not for a new collab, but rather for all the X-Men skins returning to the item shop, which is super disappointing. A collab that has a strong chance of taking place this Fort Nightmares though is one of the most iconic horror characters of all time. A Friday the 13th game is currently being developed and the official account for it only currently follows Fortnite. This could mean a number of things, but it's safe to say we might be seeing Jason arrive as a skin during this year's Halloween, so that's definitely something to look forward to. Something else that would be awesome is if we ended up getting a Wreck-It Ralph skin as a part of next season. I mean, come on, the season's name is literally wrecked, so this would fit right in. Don't forget, Fortnite's already been shown in a Wreck-It Ralph movie already, and with the big Disney club, this could be the perfect opportunity for the skin to be added. Something coming to the item shop though could be a Five Nights at Freddy's collab. Rocket Racing posted a video with this very colorful car in the center and it instantly got lots of attention as it uses the exact same color scheme as Freddy Fazbear in Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach game, so this really could be a teaser after all. We're only a few days out from Season 3's release, so subscribe for more.